I'm here to make a quick statement about people not caring about the knowledge that I have to present, when it could literally save millions of lives from such phenomena of slavery or democide. And I mean it because the history in World War II was atrocious. The real history of World War II. And the amount of people that died unnecessarily is probably way more than what could have happened if the world sought peaceful resolutions. But they don't. The U.S. was feeding communism, communism, and the whole world was against the nation of Germany who just wanted to be a nation. But no. Paint a picture of them, declare war on them, and do not seek peaceful resolution. And millions and millions of people die. And people are all subject and people are following orders on both sides and people are all contributing to the death of humankind. This is not good. And if you say nature is atrocious and nature does crimes, look at this crime. This is not natural. And democide is the number one cause of unnatural death. It is more horrible than anything. Just look at the footage. Look at the real footage of the bombings that were dropped on Berlin and other cities in Germany. I'm not defending Germany. I'm saying that the, the atrocities were insane. And of course, we're not always given the side of the other side of history, ever, when it comes to any war. <laughs> and if you try to find it, a lot of it is censored. Why? <laughs> the least we can do is share knowledge. But again, and people don't want to look at natural law, and a lot of its contents may also be censored. And still, people do not care about censorship, about death, about democide, about slavery, about defining these concepts, about finding out how they manifest because of following orders. But they want to stick to their little constitutional dream utopia that we can limit government to the right size when they're not standing on truth and freedom and liberty, those principles themselves. They want to branch themselves into some sort of ism or some sort of form of some sort of government and some sort of legislation. That is not where it changes and that is not where your mindset should be. Your mindset should be in saving lives and promoting truth, promoting freedom. And it is not through conventional means. It is in directly doing the means of which you seek to achieve. Freedom. Be free. That means don't participate in any, that means don't participate in any form. Okay? of slavery. Don't su support any form of statism. Any form that legitimizes an authority that says, hey, somebody could rule over you and you could put this person in office or that person in office. No, it is illegitimate. When you understand your rights, when you understand the law, and it really is just that simple. But, oh, anarchy, you no, know, we can't live without government and authorities. You're not looking at the premises, the principles, and you're not living it out to the fullest. You're not seeing the potential for humanity. You're not seeing how smart we can be when we work together. And we are not promoting such a thing as war because war is only created in the existence of government. Do you care about ending war once and for all? Oh, we have all these beauty pageants or whatever, and they say, oh, I want world peace. How do you actually get world peace? Tell me. Is it just through this illusion belief that says, hey, yeah, you're free, you're in peace, and you can't even define it. You don't even know what it is. You, can't, you don't even stick up for it. You never were in the process of freeing another human being. Or do you want to be part of the process that says, yeah, we're going to free human beings because we are in a system of needing abolition of slavery? But people don't want to look at that. They don't want to look at the old history. They don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to see their ideologies as wrong. They don't want to see Americanism as wrong, as constitutionalism as wrong, because they were raised with this belief. Don't you realize all these dictatorships of the world, and almost all the countries nowadays are constitutional republics, uh, you know, constitutional monarchies. They all have bills of rights. All these dictatorships, communist China, they try to say, oh, we're the people's party. They have this collectivist notion to try to convince you so they can get you under their mind control. Because government means mind control, Govana mentis in Latin, but oh, that's just a coincidence, that means nothing. I'm just speculating. <laughs> Give me a break. Look into the knowledge, and if you don't, you're a coward. That's just, I'm just saying just as it is. Okay, Mark Capascio gets really upset too. People get really angry with this stuff because guess what, folks? You're enslaved. 
you're enslaved and you did it to yourself and you were the cause of millions of deaths and you were just following orders whether it comes to vaccines whether it comes to masks whether it comes to authority it doesn't matter you're not listening to yourself you're not listening to nature and you don't care about nature so who are you what are you doing are you just a robot oh i have free will i'm still deciding for myself oh i consented to the government no you didn't and no, you're not. You're not expressing yourself if you are not truly you and you uniquely and expressing on behalf of what you do in your own life. All your expressions are of you and your own labor. And you say, oh, well, I still have to pay taxes. I still live in here. And oh, if you don't like it, you can move somewhere else. You're making justifications to have literally nowhere in common sense. It is based in idiocracy. Think about your arguments, okay? I don't know how much more direct I have to say it. I'm not always, you know, I, I keep it generally very nice on my channel. Oh, I explain things in depth. But apparently it's not enough for some people because they don't care. <laughs> so is it better if I give it to you like this and I just say you're wrong and that you need to reevaluate your belief system? <laughs> That's not to say, oh, I'm in this position of, oh, I'm better and oh, I got this ego and I'm more moral. No, no, it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> but people will jump to these things because they want to still justify their own belief systems and it makes them feel good to also take it out on other people and to also use what everybody else also agrees with yeah conformity woo even if we're fighting the left or we're fighting the right and we're fighting this political side you're still conforming guess what maybe the one percent in the world is correct the one percent not even of people who don't believe in a authority because they know about themselves. It's not a lot of us, not at all. No, not really any college kids, not really anybody um, that you'll meet on a day-to-day -day basis. But you met me and you found my channel and you found my content. All right, who are you gonna look into it? I'm not like anyone else on the internet. I myself. And everybody should be themselves. <laughs> so, where are you? Are you in the picture? Did you make history? Are you producing content for yourself? Or are you just living on the backs of everybody else telling, oh, I want to help the people and I want to do things for everybody else. How about you be the change and you do what you can within your own life? And you're not trying to make yourself some sort of pedestal. You put the ideal, the ideas on a pedestal. You speak passionately. Do you even have passion? Do you even care? Like I said, if you're watching this, I want you to care. If you are, don't care, then are you even human? Are you even conscious? <laughs> Millions of lives, slavery, democide. Guess it means nothing to this world. So if you're introduced to new knowledge, you're introduced to my stuff, look into it look into it like i i would look into anything anybody sends me and see you know what it consists of what am i tr what is what is it that i'm trying to deliver there's something i'm getting at here and it's not something that's common it's not something that is shared among anyone my age and it doesn't matter my age it doesn't matter these things look at these ideas it doesn't matter how people perceived it in the past Stop branching out and externalizing and put, casting all these judgments. Look at it for yourself objectively within your own eyes, with your own reason, your own conscience, and put aside everything else. Put aside, oh, I don't have enough time. Put aside all these other silly excuses, more justifications, so you can just not care. Tell me like it is. Do you care or do you not about million lives, millions of lives? Democide. Do you care about that? Do you care about World War II, the real result? Do you care about 9-11 and the real causation? Do you care about anything like that? Or do you just keep going about your life and just doing whatever without questioning anything? That tells me if you really are a slave and if you don't really care about freeing anybody. And you're not free yourself, so how could I expect you to free anybody else? You can't say you're freeing anybody else if you haven't freed yourself. You're a slave if you run for the elections. You're a slave if you're a cop, if you're in the army. You're a slave. 
If you're a slave, if you participate in elections, but you are free if you don't do any of those things and you stand your ground, you have firearms or whatever to defend yourself, you know your rights, you defend your rights, and that's it. You're a human being. You live your life. What's so hard about living your life? We do it every day. I look around me constantly. I see human cooperation all around me. No government necessary. It's just there as some sort of superstition in people's minds. Like, oh, I need to stare to keep me safe. No, you don't. As many societies of the past, and we do it all the time. Anarchy is reality. It's not some different state of reality. And again, cast those judgments aside. Freedom, you're given. Your rights, you're given. Perhaps you misunderstand everything that we talk about with anarchy and freedom. Then you need to really get definite on your definitions. Because that's the problem. You've been fed a certain thing all your life, and that's what you're sticking to. Well, <laughs> very easy for you to be obedient if, ever, if you just believe the narratives that they feed you since you were a kid. Very easy that you've become a slave. For yourself, thank you. This is Corey Edmund Angelot, Nature is the Answer, OneGreatWorkNetwork.com, N-I-T-A dot O-N-E as well. Check out those websites, check out those resources, check out all the many people who are looking into the real, true freedom, the true evolution of humanity's future that is destined for us, or else many more millions of people will die because of you who did not care.